Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to submit a job in AWS Patch. We saw how to define the job definition in the previous video. We will see how to submit a job that we created in AWS Patch. So now we have registered a job definition. Now we can submit it as a job to an AWS Patch job queue. Many of the parameters that are specified in the job definition can be overridden at one time. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. This is my job, which is not running. So, and this is my job definition that I created. So I go to my jobs again and you see jobs and then you see submit job. For job name, you can select test, select the job definition that you have created. That is one job queue is automatically selected on the basis of the job definition and now for job type choose single for a single job and if you want to or array to submit an array of shop now you will see job type single job depends upon option enter a job id this will depend upon you can have the job attempts you can have the execution timeout also So now let's say you job attempts, you can say two in case if it fails it one go. Execution timeout. It specifies the maximum number of seconds. So 300, let's say five minutes. So it says the maximum number of seconds to allow your job attempts to run. If an attempt exceeds the timeout duration, it is stopped and the state is moved to failed. The parameters in this, this is an optional parameter section. We can specify the parameter substitution default values and placeholders to use in the command that your jobs container runs when it starts. You can choose the add parameter for vCPUs, specifies the number of vCPUs to reserve for the container, the, mic, the memory in MIB, the number of GPUs can also be selected which is optional and then you can also add the environment variables which is also in the optional part then choose submit the job option here and logs for running succeeded and failed jobs are available in the cloudwatch logs which is under aws bad job it is successfully submitted now if you would see your status if you'll refresh it it's under cloud watch i guess so now we have to check the states no now when we have submit a job to an aws patch job queue the job enters the submitted state it then passes through the following states so as of now the job state has been submitted to the queue and has not been evaluated by the scheduler the scheduler evaluates the job to determine if it has any outstanding dependencies on the successful completion of any other jobs. Pending would be the job that resides in the queue and is not yet able to run due to a dependency or another job. In case they, in our case, there was no dependency. Runnable, the job that resides in the queue has no outstanding dependencies and is therefore ready to be scheduled to a host. Job in this state are started as soon as sufficient resources are available in one of the compute environments. Starting these jobs have been scheduled to host and the relevant container initiation operations are underway. Running the job is running as a container job. So now as you can see that if I check submitted jobs that were successfully submitted, there are no pending jobs. Now these in the runnable tab, I see that my two jobs are here. So the runnable is a job that resides in the queue, has no outstanding dependencies and is therefore ready to be scheduled to a host. Jobs in this state are started as soon as sufficient resources are available in one of the compute environments that are mapped to the jobs queue. However, jobs can remain in this state indefinitely when sufficient resources are available. So let's say our jobs stay here for the end number of times. So a few jobs do not progress to starting. See jobs stuck in runnable states in the troubleshooting section. So we let's say our jobs get stuck in the troubleshooting section. How we how would we troubleshoot it? 
forward so i'll cover that thing in the next video i hope you liked it please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have any feedback any concerns mention them in the comment section i'll see you next time have a great day